Hello everyone, this is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations and today what I'm going to do is uh, just look at the dreaded corner V issue. Um, in the course of doing corner to corner when we enter uh, our new block or do our new block when you're changing colors we tend to get that um, dreaded V on the other side. Um, that's what I call it, some people call it the non-corner uh, issue. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just um, flip this for a minute here. Let me just finish this. And I've just attached um, a different color to this just to kind of give you a look-see. Hang on a second. I'm going to loosen up some yarn. All right. Um, so here we go. I just added um, in the regular corner-to-corner uh, -corner format, just going in the front and just doing the next block. Looks great on the front side, but on the reverse side of the pattern, here's what you have. So you end up with this little thing here. I call it the uh, dreaded V. I don't know what others call it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and prevent that from happening. So I had posted on my board that a woman was doing it a little bit differently when she was uh, going across. So I'm going to actually Cut this green here, so we don't need it, a little tail of the yellow. And then I'm going to add the green, and I'm going to do as she recommended, going in through the, um, uh, pull the yarn <clears throat> from the front to back. So the way that she mentioned doing it was, you make sure this is here, and then I'm going to attach, I'm just going to actually attach this new color first so it might not affect here I'll just do this now the yarn's going to be in the front now it may not happen here because I'm doing it with a, a new uh, color mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so let me just snug everything up pull that across and I've done that block all right, so what's gonna happen here is now I'm attaching the green to this yellow. Now, to avoid getting this, if I do it the standard way, this V will be on the front. So she had recommended actually going in from the front. So basically your yarn, instead of doing it from behind and grabbing it this way, you're actually putting it in front over here. Oops, sorry. And then go in the front and then she slides it in this way and then brings it through. So that is fine. Again, um, we'd have to do it this way, whoops, through the front. I always have trouble grabbing it that way, so I apologize now. And then do this. All right, so I've made a couple, yes, this is the front of the project, so let's flip that over. And the front looks good if we don't have those um, V-shaped. But again, on the back of it, because of the way that she um, does it, we end up with the V at the corners, okay? So all of the Vs, basically, when you change, will be on the back of your project. Um, that bothers me either way, so I was trying to come up with a better solution for it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. I'm gonna make a couple rows. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the method that I've been using that is basically not creating this on either side. So I will be back with you in just a moment. Hi everyone, I'm back. So I've done the first block, I've attached my yarn like I like it. And rather than doing the regular crochet and then going in from the uh, back and making the front look good. I've actually created this way of doing it. This is what works for me. Hopefully it works for you, but if not, sorry, I'm just trying to do it, uh, you know, help out, make some, some tips. So I basically go in here. Now again, my yarn is in the back. Okay, so when you finish your yarn color, drop it in the front. So when you flip your project over, it'll be in the back. So I go in the, the gap where the chain is from the back, grab the yarn, and then do this. Make the chain that you require as part of your block. And then you're doing whatever block you're doing. I'm doing two half double crochets, okay? Now, let me try that one more time. So I go in from the back, 
I grab the yarn from the back, bring it to the front, chain two, one, and two. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Again, I go in from the back, chain two, two half double crochets as part of my colors or my blocks. All right, so here's what you have. You basically have the first row that I did the changes, I did the yellow, we went right across the front. That was fine, but it left the corner V that I don't like. Now, when I got to the green, all right, what I did was the method that was used from the one that um, there's, I think it's posted on my page about the non-square corners. I went in the back way and it, it did, it made the front look great. But again, the dreaded corners were still on the back. So that's a good way. If you don't really care about the dreaded corners, then by all means use that way. So for my method, what I did was um, uh, the method that I just showed you. I end up with the front looking okay. And then when I flip it over, the back does as well. I don't have the, the V shapes with either going through the front normal uh, crochet, going through the back, okay. And then this is mine and look now this is here you still have it's that stitch that comes across here but it's not it doesn't form this V and have this overlapping colors in it where you have the green peaking here and the yellow peaking here so I hope that that's helpful for you um, please feel free to give me some feedback I apologize about the quality I really have to work on the um, uh, getting my videos a good setup going and I will work on that I do have a couple projects that I have deadlines for right now but again I hope this is helpful for you this is my way of getting rid of what's called the the dreaded corner V this has been Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations and I hope you enjoy this tip